Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Uh, guys, smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, share the video as always. All that good stuff, guys. I really appreciate your your support. Um, guys, we had some... Look, you know what? I've been somebody that hasn't really uh, done a lot of videos on female boxing. You know, I, I feel like... I've not like I would say I've I've not been the the biggest fan, but I am now becoming a big fan of female boxing. I wasn't all for it at one point, but now, you know, with this Taylor Serrano fight, with this uh, Shields uh, Marshall fight, I'm I'm pumped. Like with them, I think like the Taylor Serrano fight, I'm gonna watch it, and I think it's obviously a great fight. But I'm more pumped for this Marshall Shields fight. I think stylistically, this fight's beautiful. Um. I think it's a great fight. I do, honestly. I think it's a great fight. First, Savannah Marshall's performance. You know, look, you know, with Savannah Marshall, I think uh, she's a good fighter. You know, some people seem to think that, you know, she's a really good boxer and she sets things up. I am, I'm not so convinced at this point. You know, I think she gets made to miss a lot. I think she at times is slow, but again, she's a, she's a powerful puncher. You know, she, she knocks everyone that she fights out cold, you know, or they're, they're completely out on their feet. So she's obviously got some severe power, you know, which, you know, is, is that we've seen what Wilder can do with his power. You know, you don't really need to be the greatest boxer in the world to land if you're, if you're a huge power puncher where she can, you know, knock you spark out, you know, so uh, I do think for both of them, I think this is going to be the acid test, I think Shields um, is going to be the acid test for Marshall, and Marshall's going to be the acid test for um, sh uh, for Shields, so I think this is going to be a really, really good fight, uh, when I, when I break, when I look at their both accomplishments, obviously Shields is the more accomplished, she's undisputed in two weight classes, she's an Olympic, double Olympic gold medalist, uh, obviously Savannah hasn't got those accomplishments, she's got a world title, but, you know, I've said this, the depth in female boxing isn't, isn't a lot, so although Clarissa has got all those accomplishments and she's done all that, uh, when you think about it, the depth in talent isn't great. So yeah, it's great that's what she's done, but that doesn't necessarily mean she's going to beat Savannah Marshall. Um, however, saying that, I think I honestly think it's um, I think it could go either way. This one, uh, Savannah is the bigger bigger girl out of the two. Uh, I think she's naturally the bigger, you know, the bigger girl. Um, she's she's taller. She looks bigger. She's obviously a heavy-handed, uh, heavy-handed fighter as well. So she hits harder as well. So that's going to be dangerous for Shields, as Shields is going to have to be on her p's and q's. She's going to have to be uh, alert. She's going to have to be switched on uh, in that type of fight. Um, Marshall is is a is a very very devastating knockout puncher from what we've seen so far. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's really going to be interesting. But when I break the things down stylistically, when I look at the fight stylistically, Clarissa Shields is a combination puncher. Um, and combination punches at times, uh, they can get caught with shots that they don't see coming. And Shields, after examining her styles in depth, she, she throws a lot of punches. And at times, she gets caught with some silly punches as well. I've seen some of her fights, and she gets caught with some of the silly punches. Now, I'm not saying she'll get caught with a punch that, you know, knocked the other girl out um, yesterday. Uh, I think she's a lot more um, defensively sound than that. And she's also very athletically gifted. She's very fast on her feet. She's got fast hands. But, like, with Marshall's power... She might only need one punch. But again, we don't know. Like, Marshall's been fighting these girls that haven't been able to cope with her power. But Clarissa Shields is a different animal. Clarissa Shields may have more heart. She may have a better chin. She, she may have better recovery power. It's a bit like Wilder. Wilder was bashing all these guys out. But when he came up against Fury, although Fury got hurt, Fury was able to recover. Because when you've got a heart of a champion and you've got the will and desire to win and nothing, you're not going to give up. You know, you're willing to go to dark, dark places to, you know win fights and shields might be cut from that cloth so we don't we just don't know i think it's going to come down to how well shields takes a punch because i i do think that marshall is going to land something you know in the 10 rounds so if, if marshall i mean if shields is able to absorb marshall's power then obviously that's going to make it difficult for 
uh, Savannah because I think Clarissa is the is the better boxer out of the two. I think she's the more gifted, um, athletically gifted fighter out of the two. Um, I don't think Marshall is gonna outbox. I know people talk about that she's um, she's won Olympic. Uh, she, sorry, she, Marshall has beaten uh, Shields as an amateur. But again, like Shields went on to big win the gold medal. So yeah, she may have beaten her as an amateur, but Shields went on to win the gold medal. So if Marshall was that good, why didn't she go on to win the gold medals? Do you know what I mean? So you you can look at it. Yeah, Shields beat her, but then you can also look at it from the other angle that also Marshall um, Shields went on to win the Olympic gold. So yeah, uh, I I think I think it's going to be a very interesting fight. A fight that both can win. I am edging towards Shields. I think Shields is the more uh, gifted out of the two, uh, I I think I always t tend to favor the 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 puncher over the I mean sorry the boxer over the puncher, so I do favor I do feel favor Shields, but it's not by it's not by a lot it's not by a lot I uh, I wouldn't be surprised if if Marshall knocks her out and I can see why look I can see why a lot of people think Marshall's gonna win I do think there's a bit of British bias there and I do think there's a case where you know a lot of the British fans are you know are, you know not respecting Clarissa uh, because of the fact that they want Marshall to win. Uh, but I, I, I do make Shields a slight favourite uh, going off accomplishments and stylistically breaking them down. But I will say that there's not much in it. You know, if they were, if this was a, a, men fight, um, a man's fight, uh, I would make the person that has Clarissa's achievements a massive favourite. Because in men's boxing, there's a lot, there's a lot more depth. So if you would have achieved all of that, two Olympic gold medals, undisputed in two weight classes, then you're something special. And not to say Clarissa isn't special, she is. But the depth in talent, as I keep going on in women's boxing, isn't that great. So although Clarissa Shields is great and she's special, I don't think the I don't think the the gulf in class is that much between these two. Although I favour uh, Clarissa. Right, I don't think the gulf of class is is that much like it would be if a man had achieved that, uh, and you know, Savannah had, and the, the, you know there was a man that just had a, a world title. I think the gulf in class uh, isn't as much, you know, between between these two. However, I will say that I think Clarissa Shields is the more athletically gifted fighter out of the two. I think she's better on her feet. She's got faster hands. She moves better. Um, but Savannah Marshall is heavy-handed. But also, we've got to realize, there's, look, Clarissa throws combination punches, right? There's nothing to say she can't hurt Marshall as well. You know, a lot of people sometimes look. I didn't, I didn't expect Cambosis to hurt Tiafimo, but you know, he did. So again, sometimes, although people looking, she's only got two knockouts. That don't mean that you know that she. Look, Josh Warrington, for example. He didn't have many knockouts and Frampton said, oh, he can't hurt me. And Warrington had him buzzing all over the place. And, Warren, and Frampton actually said he was one of the biggest punchers he faced. So sometimes just because you don't look like a big puncher, you know, those quick combinations can hurt you. Look, Khan wasn't a big puncher, but he, could, he hurt a lot of guys. You know, he put a lot of tough guys down, you know, because when, that speed can, you know, buzz you. You know, Clarissa's got speed. But the only problem is with with Clarissa is that fat, fat, when you break it down, sometimes, you know, combination punches, they can get caught with punches that they don't see coming. And those type of punches can have a have a a brutal effect. They can have a, you know, um, a really catastrophic effect, you know, especially if, if you're willing to punch with the combination puncher. Because Clarissa's going to be fast and her movement's going to be fast, Savannah's going to have to be willing to throw with her. If Savannah looks to, you know, just land a big shot, it's going to be very difficult to land on Clarissa. If, you know, I think the best chance for Savannah to land is when Clarissa is throwing her combinations. So I feel like she's got to throw when she's throwing. I think that's her best chance. But if she tries to set up punches, I think it's going to be very difficult to catch Clarissa Shields. Uh, it generally is when you're fighting somebody that's faster on their feet and faster on their hands. You have to throw when they're throwing. And I think that would be... I, I think that would be Clarissa's, I mean, Savannah's best chance to nail uh, Clarissa. But I, I do think it's a very good fight. I think it's a, I think it's a competitive fight. I think it's a fight that could go either way. Uh, it's, it's a, for me, like a 55-45, 60-45 in, in Clarissa Shield's favour. Uh, but 
again, I, like if you if you've got Savannah Marshall to win, I'm not going to disagree with you. I think it's a very good fight. I generally do. I think it's a top fight. Um, and I won that. I can think it can go either way, guys. I want to also talk about uh, Florian Marku. Florian Marku had a win yesterday against um, um, Chris Jenkins, and he called out Amir Khan. I want to talk a little bit about that. Firstly, Marku's performance wasn't that impressed, to be honest. Like he was getting out boxed by Jenkins. I had him losing every round up until he caught him with a shot, uh, and then he finished him off. Look, Marku saying he's learning on the job. Um, which he is, um, he's he's obviously going to improve as he gets more experience. But, you know, um, calling out Amir Khan, to be honest, um, I think that should be embarrassing. The fact that so guys like Florian Marku are calling out Amir Khan, I think that should tell you how far Amir Khan has, has dropped. But then to be fair, he called out Conor Ben and Kel Brook as well. Um, but the fact is that Amir Khan is way, way, way past his best. And I don't particularly want to see, Flor you know, Amir Khan fight Florian Marku. Uh, because it's not the fact that I don't think Amir Khan can beat Florian Marku at this point. I think he probably could. Uh, but it's the, it's the thought of him potentially losing. That is like, that would have never happened in Amir Khan's prime. There's no way Marku could beat him in his prime. So um, the fact that, you know, it's, it, there's even a possibility he may lose to Marku kind of tells me that Amir shouldn't probably be fighting anymore. Um, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Marku's just looking to obviously piggy bank of Khan's name, call him out. He knows he's a big name. He's a former unified world champion. Uh, it's an opportunity for, um, you know, him to kind of get a stellar name on his record. But obviously I think people know now that Amir Khan's just a name at this point. He's not a top tier fighter. He's just a name. So you're beating a guy that once was something. He's just a name. Um, personally, I actually think that Khan, look, could probably still beat Marku. But again, it's like I said, it's the uncertain factor. We just don't know where Khan's dropped, where le where his level's gone to. So, uh, yeah, I think Amir Khan shouldn't really entertain a fight with Marku. And Marku said himself, I think he said, um, I hope Amir Khan doesn't accept the fight. Um, because I will finish off his career or something like that. Um... So in a way, I don't, I don't know whether he, he. I think, I think he probably, maybe he doesn't want to fight Khan as well. He probably knows that. Yeah, I'm not getting the best Khan. He's at the end of his career. But if that fight was to be made, I think Marku, Marku probably knows a fight won't happen. That's why he's probably be saying that. He probably knows that Amir Khan won't take the fight. Um, so that's why he's saying what he's saying. Uh, maybe he's trying to goad Khan to take in the fight. Uh, but I don't really think Amir Khan will be goaded by Marku, like to be honest with you. So I don't think he'd. I don't think he really cares, to be brutally honest. Um, about uh, about boxing, I just think that you know if Amir Khan's gonna fight, he's gonna he's gonna do what he wants to do. Um, but like I said, I'm not too like in terms of Florian Marku, where he could go. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure where he could. Go in this sport, if I'm totally honest with you. Like, I think he was getting outboxed by Jenkins. He said he outboxed a boxer. Uh, that's just delusional because he was losing every round and he was getting, I thought he was getting battered as well. Like, I think, you know, until he landed that shot, I think Jenkins was pretty comfortable. Um, so I actually think a fight that Marco should be fighting is Chris Congo. Uh, and he kind of dismissed that and said, well, when I was coming up and I wanted to fight these guys, nobody wanted to fight me. But now I've signed with Boxer and I've got a bit of name. All these guys want to fight me. Um, I, I don't know whether he was ever linked with Chris Congo. Uh, but I do think Congo is a good fight for him. Like, he's not going to get a Kell Brook fight. He's not going to get an Amir Khan fight. He's not going to get a Conor Ben fight. So the chances are the best fight for him would be Chris Congo. That, that would be the more natural fight for him. I personally would favour Congo. I think he's the more skilled uh, uh, fighter. Uh, but again, it, if Marku is obviously a big stocky guy, he can punch. Um, if he lands, who knows? He could wipe him out. But I would favour, I would favour probably Congo. I would favour any decent boxer against Marku at this point because Marku was being outboxed pretty convincingly until he landed that shot. So we'll just have to wait and see how this all plays out. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section, bro. Let me know what you think. In the comment section, I'd love to know your opinion, love to know your thoughts.
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.